video on File Manager Service Provider for ZOS Connect. This File Manager feature works in conjunction with and prereqs IBM's ZOS Connect Enterprise Edition version 3 and assumes a basic understanding of File Manager and ZOS Connect and its associated tooling. The File Manager Service Provider for ZOS Connect enables client applications to access Z data. Using ZOS Connect tooling, customers can create their own RESTful APIs and access Z data via the service provider. Z data sources supported include MBS datasets, including vSAM, Unix system services files, Kix files, including vSAM, transient data and temporary storage queues, and MQQs. This feature provides a service archive, or SAR file, which can be used with the ZOS Connect API editor to create file manager APIs. Also provided is a ZOS Connect build toolkit plugin, which can be used to create your own service archives. These files must be copied to your API build environment to be used. IBM's ZOS Connect API editor can be installed into your Eclipse environment where you can create your APIs. The ZOS Connect perspective allows you to create API projects where you can choose your API path and parameters and select the service archive or SAR file to associate your API with a particular service provider. In this case, the file manager service provider. The API editor allows you to view the request and response JSON schemas prescribed by the service archive. The file manager service archive, when using the provided SAR file, requires a resource name on an initial request. This is the data resource that will be read. The request can also identify a file manager template name that maps the data or a copybook name. A request can also provide operational parameters such as how many records to read and, for performance reasons, whether a file manager session should be maintained when subsequent reads from the same file are expected. You can also position within the file prior to the read on relative record position or, with vSAM KSDS, on a key position. When using the provided service archive, the service provider returns a generic mapping of file data to a prescribed response format, that is, one format for all data resources. The response is an array of records, where each record is an array of fields, providing the name of the field, according to the template or copybook, its type, dimension if an array, and its value. Once you have created your API, you can deploy it to your ZOS Connect host environment using the Eclipse plugin. As an alternative, customers who require a response mapping specific to a data resource can create their own SAR files using the provided File Manager Build Toolkit plugin. APIs created using SAR files built by the Build Toolkit plugin map data responses according to a given file manager template or copybook. The ZOS Connect Build Toolkit, or Zcon BT, is packaged with the ZOS Connect host product and provides a command line utility that can be run on Windows, Linux or ZOS to create service archives. As input, the Zcon BT utility expects a properties file and as output generates a SAR file. File Manager expects a properties file with particular elements. The name must be unique to your ZOS Connect environment. Version is required. The provider must be File Manager. The data resource name that is to be read and a template or copybook file that maps the data resource. During SAR creation, File Manager requires the host and port of an ADFZ common component server running on an LPAR where the template or copybook can be found, and a user ID and password for that LPAR where the user has read access to the template or copybook. These additional parameters are only needed during SAR creation and are not stored in the SAR file. A full description of available properties and their use can be found in product documentation on IBM's mainframe developers website. Using the properties file as input, we can create our SAR file using the ZCOM BT command line utility. Once we have generated the service archive, we can use it during API creation, again, selecting the path and verbs we want to use. And as always, an API must be associated with a SAR file. A SAR file generated using the File Manager Build Toolkit plugin prescribes a simpler JSON request schema because resource and template information is no longer required. It is already baked into the service archive. Consequently, a request only needs to optionally specify operation and position parameters. The main difference is the format of the response. 
Using a template or copybook during SAR creation allows File Manager to prescribe a response schema that maps the specific data resource. Having deployed our two example APIs to our ZOS Connect host system, we can now call them. For demonstration purposes, we will use Postman, a free tool that lets us test REST APIs. Using Postman, we can select our ZOS Connect host IP address and port number and specify our API's path and select the verb that matches our API. All initial calls to read from a data resource require a basic authorization header. In addition, all calls require a content type of application slash JSON. In the HTTP body, we need to provide as much of the JSON request that is not mapped by the ZOS Connect API. Since we didn't map anything when creating the API, we will provide the full payload. In this example, we will read from an MVS dataset mapped by a file manager template. We will read the first record and request a session because we plan to make subsequent reads to the data resource. When we send the request, we can expect the file manager service provider to return the first record of the file. Since we asked for a session, the service provider returns a token which can be used on subsequent calls. As we are using the token, we don't need the resource and template parameters. We will again read one record and keep the session going. When we send the request, we can expect the second record from the MBS dataset. We can continue this until the end of the file, or we can request all records or none. And we can end the host side file manager session by setting session to false and sending the request. Similarly, we can demonstrate our second API associated with the SAR file we created. Firstly, we specify the appropriate URL. An initial API call requires a basic authorization header. And all calls require a content type of application JSON. The simplified request does not require resource or template details, as these are baked into the service archive. All we need to specify is the number of records we want to read and whether we require a session. In this example, we will use position parameters to position on a particular key prior to the read request. Since we are not planning any subsequent reads, we can set session to false. When we send the request, we can expect the record matching the key we specified. This brings us to the end of our demonstration in this video. Thank you again for your interest in the file manager service provider for ZOS Connect.